Danny Crisp here, 2019's Instructor of the Year here at Prime, and I'm reaching out to let you know I've created 10 quick episodes to help you become a professional driver, or if you've already got your CDL, to help you with some of the day-to-day -day operations. Now, these videos cover a wide variety of content, not just CDL prep, but also things that are going to help you in that OTR phase of your drive. Now, I'm really excited to be releasing these videos as kind of a compendium to my current students, my previous students, but also hopefully future students as well to give them the resources they need to get the most out of their drive, the most out of that CDL, and to better their best. So hopefully this is going to be meaningful content that's going to help to accelerate your knowledge base and get you out on the road to success sooner. You know, do yourself a huge favor, make the call to Prime, find your path. Do you want to change your life? Do you want be your best, tired of having all that strife, now's the time to reinvest, pick up the phone and make a call, it's your time to give your odds, change your life, you know you can, sing it out loud, CDL, yeah my man, CDL, alright dude, CDL, now's the time, CDL, yeah go call crime, CDL, oh yeah, CDL, make the move, CDL, no time to wait, get on up and let's move. So great. Okay, one quick thing about Prime's referral program before we get started. Now, Prime is such an amazing company at rewarding hard work. It's truly incredible the way that Mr. Lowe and the whole team share the success of this company from the top to the bottom in every phase. And one way that they do that is through the referral program. Every incoming driver is given an amazing opportunity to share in the potential wealth of their new career with a current driver for Prime at no personal cost to themselves. All they have to do is tell their recruiter the name and the driver code of a current driver for Prime. Now, if you already know a driver for Prime, please make 100% certain that you get their name and their driver code in. It is vital to the business model here to reward excellence and share in the success. In that regard, if you don't have a current friend or relative that's driving for Prime, for every new applicant that uses my code, I will personally donate $100 to Springfield's local food banks. They say that $1 equals 4 meals, so you'd be contributing 400 meals to Springfield's local families. That's pretty incredible. Remember, we're all in this together. Make sure to message me directly that you've used my code, that way I can track it and get that donation in. You can connect with me at any time on the information here on this YouTube page or through my Instagram. Now, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Okay, over the next two episodes, we're gonna cover all of your backing. That includes all of your test day maneuvers, as well as a couple practicals that you're gonna see out in the wild from day to day, as well as a couple resets that are gonna help you in case you get in a little bit of hot water on test day. So, this episode, we're gonna cover your straight line back, your offset, and your parallel. So, let's get to work. Okay, so on test day, you're gonna have a possible six maneuvers, but of those six, you're only gonna have to do three of them. Now, before we get into the specifics of those maneuvers, let's talk about the test in general. Each maneuver, you're gonna have 15 minutes to accomplish, and there's a point system awarded. Each time you use a pull-up beyond those free ones that are awarded, it's gonna cost you one point. And each time you hit a wall, it's gonna cost you two points, plus you have to pull up to get off of that contact. So be very careful about those lines. I want you to think about this like you're at a truck stop and you're not gonna hit Jan's International over here on the right and you're not gonna hit Steve's Peterbilt over here on the left. You just wouldn't hit someone's truck out in the real world, so don't hit a line. Watch those lines as you're back and, and be very mindful of that. Now, the test day maneuvers themselves, we're gonna always have first a straight line back. We're always gonna have second an offset. We're always gonna have third, either a parallel or an alley dock. So those are the three maneuvers we're gonna to have to do. Let's get into the specifics a little bit of those maneuvers. Okay, so your first maneuver, no matter what, is gonna be that straight line back. You're gonna pull all the way up until the back of your trailer's past this line, and then you're gonna back yourself all the way through the box. You get one get out and look and one free pull up. So don't be afraid to use that if you need to. And when you pull up, make sure and pull up 15 to 20 foot. Give those trailer axles time to get into a better position. Now, as you're backing, again, you're gonna back all the way through the box till you're on the other side of this line, at which point you're gonna set your brakes and blow your horn to signify you're done with your maneuver. As you're backing, some general tips is to remember to keep the side of your trailer parallel to this white line. 
spot a drift, try and make an adjustment, and then get back in front of it. And as you're backing, the best speed to be going, one to two foot per second. This is a slow enough speed that we can make any adjustment should we make a wrong turn, but fast enough that we can actually watch that trajectory of those tires and anticipate which direction they're going and which direction they need to go. So let's go ahead and head out into the field and take a look at what this looks like. All right, we are pulling forward to get into our start position for a straight line back. Going to get the back of the trailer past the yellow line, at which point we are going to cycle it into reverse and begin to back up slowly. Now the speed we want to go is one to two foot per second. That's fast enough to see the line that the tires are on, but slow enough if we need to make an adjustment, we can make it without getting in any trouble. The target distance is 6 to 12 inches off that left wall, staying parallel with the trailer to that white line and keeping our tractor in front of that trailer all the way through the box. As so we continue, at this point we need to make sure that the tractor doesn't swing. So if the trailer starts to lose center a little bit, that's okay as long as the tractor doesn't make a big cut and hit one of those walls. And get yourself all the way through the box, at which point You'll stop once you can see the cone clearly, set your brake, and honk your horn to signify you're done with your maneuver. That was a nice example of a straight back. Let's move on to our second maneuver. We know it's always gonna be an offset, either to our right or to our left. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so our offset is always gonna be one lateral shift from one lane to the other, either from the center lane over to this right lane or from this right lane over to the center lane. We are never gonna do an offset to or from that left lane. Now, the start position we wanna get ourselves in is as far up as we can get. We'll put that deer guard up on that blue line and then we're gonna do two sequential cuts and your instructor can help you find those exact ones for your particular truck and trailer. And we're gonna get ourselves pointed into the box that we wanna go into. Now, with those two sequential cuts, we'll end up pointed into a position somewhat like this. And we're going to back ourselves up straight. At a certain point, we're gonna to start to push the back of the trailer over to the left to try and get this side of the trailer parallel to this line. Now, we're gonna go out in the field and take a look at what that looks like from a bird's eye view, but what you're trying to do is get yourself into this box as shallow as you can, and once you know you are inside that box, you're gonna set your brakes and blow your horn to signify you're done. So, let's head out into the field and take a look at that. Okay, we are pulling up to get into our start position for an offset. Start position for this right offset is centered in the center lane with our deer guard right on top of that blue line at the end of the training pad. Beginning of our maneuver, we say we want our trailer to go to the right in the situation, so we steer all the way to the left, and we're gonna put two quick cuts in the tractor and trailer to point it diagonally into the box we want to go into. Now your instructor can help you with pinpointing those specific cuts, but once we make it, it's gonna point us very cleanly into that box. So there's the first cut, and then we turn all the way the other way to get ourselves back in front of our trailer pointed into that box. And at this point, once we're pointed into that box, we're gonna straighten out our steers and back up straight, making sure that we're staying right in front of our trailer. And an easy way to do that, at least in a flatbed trailer, is to split the marker light with the fairing on the side of the tractor. As we continue back, we pinpoint to the location where we can start to push the back of the trailer back to the left by turning to the right here, and put that same cut back into it. And again, your instructor can help you with pinpointing that cut or a similar series to get yourself into the box. At which point here we turn all the way the other way to get ourselves back in front of our trailer, and at which point it's gonna be relatively easy to just finish off backing up straight. But if you find yourself in a different situation when you get back in front of your trailer, you can go ahead and use a pull-up to clean up your line. I recommend 15 to 20 foot for those pull-ups. But this position looks great, so we straighten out our steers. We back up staying straight, keeping that side of the trailer parallel to that left wall targeting six to 12 inches off that wall and staying in front of our trailer the whole way. 
And with an offset, we're stopping inside the box. So as soon as you know that the front of that deer guard is inside that yellow line, you're gonna stop, put it in neutral, set your brakes, and honk your horn to signify you're done with your maneuver. Okay, there we have an example of an offset, not too intimidating. And remember, you still have those two free pull-ups and those two get out and look. So don't be afraid to use those to help you get your trailer and tractor back into the box cleanly. So if we get through that tier two maneuver, we're gonna move on to that tier three maneuver. We know that's gonna be a parallel or an alley dock. So let's take a look at that parallel. All right, so now for the parallel. And as promised, we can follow the exact same procedure that we did for that offset, except now we're starting inside that box. So we're gonna get ourselves in our start position, do those same two cuts to get ourselves diagonally pointed into the box. Then we're gonna back up straight until we split this white line, hop out, verify our position's good, hop back in the truck, do those exact same two cuts to get realigned in the box, just like that. So let's head out to the field and take a look at what that looks like. All right, we are now getting ourselves into our start position for a parallel. First things first, we're staying centered all the way up as we're pulling up. And we're gonna get the back of the trailer past that cone line just a little bit. And then we're legally allowed to begin our maneuver. We're gonna back up a little bit straight before we make a series of two cuts here. So I'm backing up to this point, at which point I need my trailer to go to the right. So I'm gonna steer all the way to the left and do a series of two sequential cuts to point myself diagonally into the box just like we did with our offset. Now, your instructor can help you with these specific cuts or he might teach you a different method. There's a lot of different ways to do this, so definitely make sure you're listening to your instructor's advice on what you need to do to get inside that box for the parallel. Now, right here, I'm turning all the way to the right to get back in front of my trailer. And at which point when I'm back in front of my trailer, I should be pointed very cleanly into the box that I'm trying to go into just like that. Right there, I'm gonna straighten out my steers and I'm gonna to continue to back up staying straight until that back left tire splits the white line. And right here, I'm just making sure the tractor is staying in front of the trailer until that back tire splits that white line. And right there, I feel confident that it has and I'm gonna go ahead and push the back of the trailer left by steering all the way to the right and backing up and do that same series, those two sequential cuts to get myself back inside the box. And right there, I'm going to turn all the way to the left, swing my tractor in front of my trailer, at which point I should be cleanly inside that box and just inside that cone line. And just like that, get ourselves into the box, get our steer straight, put it into neutral and set our brakes, blow our horn to signify we're done with our maneuver. All right, that was an example of a parallel. Pretty straightforward stuff, isn't it? Ugh. Um, is this where the 1030 yoga class is gonna be? Nope. Okay. You might wanna try the Millennium Building. Interesting guy. So this episode, we covered a lot of ground. We learned about our straight line back, we learned about our offset, and we also learned about that parallel. In the following episode, we're gonna cover some more interesting ground. We're gonna cover that alley dock, which scares a lot of people, but we'll realize it's not that intimidating. And we're also gonna cover some general resets should you get a little bit off on your backing to help you realign yourself. Looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. <laughs>